Welcome back, guys, to Triangle Strategy, where last episode, after dispatching the Hylophan once again, we rushed forward with Benedict's Dragon Shield to cover us, facing off against the door at last as we cut through his invincibility shield and finally laid the true ruler of Hyzant low, who then decided to blow the palace sky high as we brought freedom to all of Norzelia. Now we witness the true ending of this tale. Epilogue. The hawk flies free. Dear, are you okay? Mm hmm Hey, let's go play hide and seek over there! Okay! I never thought I would see the day my people would be welcome anywhere. Yet here we are. It truly is a dream come true. It took some time for everyone to adjust, but now, it feels like the Roselle have been here their whole lives. Aye. With things finally settling down here, the young lord and King Roland can move the people forward. One step at a time. Indeed. And we must do everything in our power to see their plans through. Frederica, how good it is to see you again. Glenbrook seems to have gotten back on its feet. It has, uncle. How fares as Frost? Some of Gustadorf's most loyal followers resisted the change, but we managed to peacefully resolve our differences in time. Ain't that a relief? Truly, it is. I would be loath to sully Esfrost's history any further, and I am certain Dragan would agree. Well, well. To think dignitaries can stand about chatting in the open like this. What a world we live in now. Minister Lila, welcome. I hope your journey was a pleasant one. You can scarcely imagine my surprise when I heard that King Roland had asked for me by name. In truth, I was unsure of whether or not to answer his summons. After everything I have done, I cannot imagine being worthy of such a lofty position. Of course you are, Minister. After the Hyzantian people lost everything they believed in, you were the one who kept them together. You also shared your research with the public. Countless lives were saved thanks to you. I am flattered you think so. But in the end, it was I who was saved. Ha <laughs> ha! Come now! Let us save the catching up for later. We must be on our way to the castle. Where is your dear husband-to-be, Frederica? He is with Benedict at Castle Wolfort, discussing the prospects of the new Salt Crystal Mines. They will make their way here once they're finished. Lord Serenoa is as ardent to youth as always, I see. It has been an honor to serve. Wait! Where do you think you're going? I strayed from the path of righteousness, my lord. You speak of the day we all stood divided. Indeed. Had you not been there to unite us, Lord Serenoa, I shudder to think what our fate might have been. Ever since then, I have been plagued by nightmares. Visions of Norzelia swallowed up in flames because of my foolish counsel. But Norzelia has emerged stronger, and we could not have safeguarded her without you. My plan callously ignored Lady Frederica's people and would have driven King Roland away. I failed you, both as steward to House Wolfort and as a man. I have no right to be part of this realm's future. Stop right there, Benedict. 
Who among us has not once erred? What is important is that we learn from our mistakes. If you haven't the strength to stand after you fall, you must learn to lean on others. That is how we came this far. Whenever one of us became lost, the others helped us find our path. Is that not the way of your beloved House Wolfort? Lord Serenoa. Our work has just begun. We must stand together to forge the best path forward. We cannot hope to do this without you. Pray remain with us, Benedict. House Wolfort needs you. As do I. <sighs> I refuse. I refuse to abandon House Wolfort and its lord. My allegiance lies with you, Lord Serenoa, now and forever. I am heartened to hear this, my friend. I will not fail you, or this realm, my lord. Now then, you are on your way to the Crown City, if I am not mistaken. Let us make haste, so as not to keep King Roland waiting. Ah, yes. About that. You still waver as to whether or not to divulge to him the truth. <laughs> there is nothing I can hide from you, Benedict. I know I should keep the secret for House Wolfort's sake. And yet... Do as your heart tells you, my lord. The bond between the two of you will not fray now. Your words hearten me, Benedict. I now know what I must do. Saranoa? Is everything all right? There is still time until the ceremony. There is something I must tell you, Roland. But of course, friend. What is it? I want you to see this. It was given to me by my lord father before he passed. A royal signet? But only those of the royal line are meant to have this. However, did Lord Simon come to possess it? My father told me on his deathbed that it was given to him by King Regna to be passed on to me. But that would mean... Indeed. My mother, the Lady Destra, came to House Wolfort bearing His Majesty's child. Then that makes us... Brothers? I am sorry, Roland. Perhaps I should have carried this secret to my grave, but I simply could not. I do not expect you to simply take me at my word. Pray examine the ring for yourself. There is no need. I trust Lord Simone's words. You do? Do you recall that fateful day, Saranoa? When our diverging convictions threatened to tear us apart? I do. You, Frederica, and Benedict, you could not see eye to eye. I lost sight of my duty as king and thought bending the knee to Hyzant would save us. I feel ashamed of my cowardice to this very day. But you were different. You never gave up. You found a path we were all willing to walk together. I think that more than proof enough of your royal blood. But no. Being king is not just a matter of lineage. A king must hold fast to his ideals and be a beacon of hope to his people. His ears must be attuned to the wishes of all, and his eyes must see all paths, even those not shown by the scales. Saranoa, my brother, you are capable of that and much more. I have no doubt you were meant to rule this realm. Roland. I will give you the throne, if you so wish it, and swear to see your will done. I am flattered, but 
I must refuse. Your words now are proof enough of your kingship, Roland. The people are ever in your heart, and you have shown that you can look back and learn from your mistakes. Narcellian needs a king like you at his helm. I am Serenoa, son of Simon and ward of House Wolfort, ever a faithful vassal to his majesty, and his closest friend. I just could not go on living without telling you the truth. Hmm. Your Majesty, everyone has arrived. Thank you, Huet. Let us begin the ceremony. Thank you, everyone, for coming here today. The war is over, and we have reached an agreement on the Salt Crystals. They will be deemed property of the Norzellian people as a whole, and be distributed fairly across the land. Lord Swarog and Minister Lila, we cannot thank you enough for your help in this endeavor. Think nothing of it, King Roland, but know that this is just the beginning of a new age. Indeed. And in this new age, I hope that all of Norzelia can overcome the borders of our nations and join together as one. In order to do so, Lenbrook wishes for an equal and peaceful union with Esfrost and Heisand. And the first steps toward that are self-governing territories, yes? Correct. I will allow for free trade of goods, salt crystals included, between these territories. I will gradually ease the borders, while fostering awareness of a unified Norzellian people. I would like Lord Svarog to preside over the new Esfrosty territory. Of course, King Roland. I will do all I can to achieve my son's vision. Minister Lila, I would like you to preside over the Hyzantian territory. Gladly, King Roland. And presiding over both Wolfort and the Rosellen territory. I would have none other than my dearest friend and companion, Sarah Noah Wolfort. As you command, Your Majesty. And I do believe that concludes the formalities. I have but one more order for you, Sarah Noah. Ask and it shall be done. If you insist. I order you and Lady Frederica to have your long overdue wedding at the soonest opportunity. What? Roland, there are still so many matters to attend to. We couldn't possibly. This is an order from your sworn liege. You dare not refuse, Lord Wolfwoods. Roland. <laughs> what better to mark the start of an era of unity than a wedding? You will be my nephew in no time, Lord Serenoa. I know it is sudden, but shall we, Frederica? I would like nothing more. What about Huet and Roland? I thought he just wanted a hug from his big brother. <laughs> That's what he's gonna ask for. Wait, he lived? Sikris lived? <laughs> Such as another guy. We're gonna find out, maybe? Can we explore? That'd be great. I never expected to see all these familiar faces here. It is a true testament to the path they walk together. Indeed, this is not only a celebration for Glenbrook and the Roselle, but Esfrost and Hyzant as well. 
Their union will become a symbol of the new era. A new dawn is breaking over Norzelia, and I am honored to be here to see it. The young lord's all grown up now. Feels like it was just yesterday when he was no higher than my knee. I feel the same about Frederica. She was always alone, yet today she is someone's bride. This is the happiest day of my life. My friends, it would appear the young couple is ready to begin. Without further ado, let us commence the ceremony. Please welcome the bride and groom, Frederica S. Frost and Sarah Noah Wolfort. Dare you not let us see it? <laughs> hey, the credits! We made it! Through 20 chapters. <laughs> Through the golden route. Following the story beats to an end. A great tactics game. I very much enjoyed it. Even though I did say, of course, I always feel stressed out when I'm playing a tactics game because the minute choices that you can make can really screw to you. If you've just not got it right. There were multiple bosses with essentially a one shot really mess you up or kill you button. So avoiding that <laughs> became my play style immensely. An arranged assault on a boss where the power scales tip in our favor. Slow but steady wins the race, doesn't it? Now marriage will take place, and you're telling me they won't give us at least pictures of it? There better be pictures of it and more. I was hoping I got to explore the uh, the banquet, kind of like trail style. But it seemed that was not the case for me to go around and say, Sikras, are you alive? But yeah, it was incredibly difficult, oh, different to play a game without permadeath is one of the things I will note. Because of course, being able to balance this character with Rimgoyer, being able to balance the game, around the fact that characters can get knocked out just means you can make the base game harder. And it was. Just on normal mode, it was definitely harder than other games I've played of the genre that are like that. It was very interesting. And yet another HD 2D fair from Square Enix. Which is always a great style. I'm actually looking forward to more games that look like this in the future. I don't even know what you could get out of it being realistic graphics for a tactics game anyway. Just works. Grid-based combat. I'll be interested to see where it goes from here because there are like... There's always a potential for a sequel. <laughs> Doesn't mean this game will have one. There's always potential of more issues to deal with. Places outside of Norzelia or stuff like that. Troubles being brought forth within Norzelia, even. You just don't know. But I like the fact that essentially it sounds now as well like the place has been split up into four like overall territories. So of course, of course, Glenbrook had like, you know, the, the royal family and then the three high houses. But now it's more like Glenbrook, the Wolfort Domain and Roselle's territory in the center. Estrost and Heizen, all to be broke down in the future into just one Norzelia. The question is, they were kind of looking at it like Roland was, as king, Roland was the top dog, which I don't think should be necessarily true. But equally, I guess, they kind of change things up a bit. Really? They're just looking for leadership at that point in time, and Svarlog and... Well, I guess Lila's not necessarily in the same right position to be able to say either or. But Svarog is quite happy to uh, let someone else take the lead. In fact, all the leaders there were quite happy to let someone else take the lead, with Roland wanting to cede the throne to Serenoa. The ending is different if you don't use the fire traps the second time either. Why do you say that? 
But if there is, then I got that. Ha! Is it the fact that Wolfort is just beautiful? No wreckage to be found there. Yeah, so smart choice to make that transition slowly. I'd have thought they'd do more, like, it's obviously more equal government, but uh, it's weird that they're, like, treating him as a little bit more and being summoned by him as a king, to be fair. But I guess he's the, uh, he's the guy, really. I mean, it was Glenbrook that essentially took, you know, they did take out the Archduke. So that is essentially conquering a nation, even if they just let someone else lead it straight away. Okay, what the hell? He made a blister? I couldn't get him to make a blister. How can I make him make, make a blister? I guess that must be his, like, for a tier weapon thing. Because it said it at the start of his character, and there was no blisters. I was very sad. No scorch marks and no wreckage if you don't use the fire trap a second time. Hey! All that struggle got us a little bit of extra scenery. I guess that's the way of putting it. By the way, what do you reckon? She wet and Roland? The wedding you got was in White Home Castle. Oh, nice. So a little bit I did actually allowed us to do in House Warfall. That's cool. I guess even though I went on normal mode, the self-imposed hard mode stuff at times was a... Uh, was worth it in the end. So I wonder how they're actually going to go about finish finalizing government. Because, of course, being king and all that isn't really conducive to a whole Norzelia. Unless they have, like, a royalty over it. I wonder how they break down stuff like royal lineage in the future. After all that spread a bit. And then you have all sides represented in Serenoa too. Who still just wants to serve and not lead. Though in the end, I like the fact that they gave him the, his own territory. Because it's kind of like, well, you're forced to be an equal partner in this now. Even though you were an equal partner in this. And you were more or less like helping lead everything in the first place to get us to the battles. But yeah, <laughs> you're not just retiring. Get to work. But first of all, get married. Give me a niece or nephew. Thank you, cheers. But I'd like Hewitt and, uh... Hewitt and... Brolin to get together would be kind of nice. <laughs> and that royal family line's gonna be split, you know, split quite a bit in the end. Ah. I do kind of wish that you could do every route on one playthrough, but obviously that's not really a thing. It will always be New Game Plus. You'll always miss out maps and all that to tell a little bit of a deviating story. And I know, oh, look at that! And I know part of the point of those like extra routes is to give you the replayability, to turn a game that is 60, 70 hours long into a game that ends up 200 hours plus. I kind of... I, I kind of would design it personally that you could go back and visit any stage and any route you missed after you completed the game once, or at least after you completed the golden route, maybe. And you could just, without having to play through the stuff. But I'm guessing there must be some other mechanic that probably stops that. And it would get you to play from the very start to see all the other endings. But for Let's Play purposes, as soon as we learned about the golden route, we went for it hard. I had the safety net to get there of the chat being able to vote and if the vote was incredibly against my decision, it was going to be very obvious that I shouldn't take that route. Because people were going to want the guy to be there in the end. People were already wanting to inform me stuff really early on in the playthrough. But I feel my choices that I made following the story and following like little, the, in, the more interesting points or the little kind of teases at certain points led me true. The actual difficulty of that route, getting this route, seems to be basically chapter 9, doesn't it? And getting that vote won. And going to Esfrost. But literally, going to Esfrost, the entirety of that, was fully from the fact that I went to Heizan at the start. And I wanted to go the opposite way, because I didn't go that way. So there we go. 
What are they talking about? Is this the uh, salt crystal times? I don't know. Like, the story bit's kind of come in between various bits here, there, and everywhere. Is this after XM got defeated? Before XM got defeated? True, of course, we've even seen from this thing that there's all these extra characters to get here, there, and everywhere. Playing through the game would allow you, I'm guessing, to upgrade everyone to their highest promotion, get all their abilities, get all their ultimate weapon skills unlocked. Ah, uh, we're right at the end of the story now. And more. So there's a lot of replayability there. But when there is one true ending, we were always going to go straight for it. And man, how different a game is made. Get him, Avalor. By not only by the lack of permadeath, but by turns not being one team and then the other team. Be it those turns being completely mixed between everyone and having to balance someone's life. If turn order is bad or not. Without quietuses, that would have made things a lot harder. But equally... The ability to literally use stop on bosses was probably a little overpowered. <laughs> so we counted the bosses' overpowered abilities that sounded very overpowered, but in the end turned out not to be as long as you played against them. With one overpowered ability of our own, stop. When stopped, it allows you to just hit the opponent. And then with Roland coming in, Roland, the character that we kind of just went, ah, he's not that great because of various things. If there's one thing Roland is great at, it's doing damage when it counts. And man, did he do it. And man, did we like that. Good on, Roland. Anything else? That is our final message. Our final picture. The end of our game. Does Lila have a child? <laughs> Who's that next to Lila? That is Lila, right? He's got the piercings. Didn't know Lila had a kid. Archibald's small because he's old. Anna, which is small, but you may as well literally like a Serenoa because of family. Anna's basically a sister, right? I wish they just like straight up said that. <laughs> You're just my little sister. Because <laughs> I feel like that bond is super there. Gila on the... Why, why is Gila on the husband's side? I guess they've split it up here, there, and everywhere. So you've got Hosabara, Svarog's having a cry. You've got Jerome and Hosabara together. Is that, uh... Oh, shoot. What's his name now? From the consortium in the top right. I forgot his name. It begins with C. Good old Eridor getting it down him. Lionel doesn't look too happy. Avalor is just, uh... Maybe a bit of romance in her heart at that point. <laughs> Cordelia and Roland off to the side. And there's Ian's as well. It's interesting. Does it actually have every character or not? No, it doesn't. It's kind of interesting. Oh, it does have Milo on the right. Which characters are we missing here? Groma. We're missing some. So it's not everyone. I'm guessing what they've put in the picture is the amount of characters they expect you to probably have by the end of the game. Would that be right or wrong? Maybe it's a different picture depending on what character you have. I don't know. But that was Triangle Strategy. Star as the project became his full game and it was very enjoyable, if not stressful at times. <laughs> you know what battles I mean. Anytime we're in House Wolf Fort, Peril began. Peril. <laughs> Let's see what it says to end it off. Congratulations, your journey has come to an end. Loading the save will grant you access to the new game plus mode, which contains the following features. All units, items, information, and notes carry over. Enemies will be tougher except in mental mock battles. You can view the summary of your first playthrough. Hard mental mob battles are now on tap at the tavern. You may view your current conviction values and the values necessary to recruit allies you've not yet met. You'll be notified when a conviction value changes and by how much. Dialogue choices will show which conviction values they affect and by how much. The condition necessary to raise each conviction value will be revealed. So at this point, it just says, now you know, you're not in the dark. That's not bad for me. I have no clue if Lila had a kid or not. 
but I guess she did. The hawk flies free. Clear data is done. Does the title screen change at all? And the music. That was triangle strategy. It's got lyrics. <laughs> so with that going on, I say goodbye for another Let's Play. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time for more in the future. Of course, Let's Plays are always having our channel of various genres, types, and shapes. So I'll see you around for more of that. Have a great night. Have a great day, wherever you are across the world. I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.